Just is that is this a one hand job? It's a one hand, one hand. That's, that sounds very rude, so we <laughs> let's do that again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sylvia. And I'm Marion. And today it's all about rice. I'm going to show you how to make a classic Italian risotto, a creamy, luscious, delicious risotto. And I'm going to be doing Highland's Breakfast of Champions, a super comforting Thai breakfast soup. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, while you start on your soup, I'm going to get chopping a little brown onion. Okay, and I'm going to get my condiments done first. Now, I'm going to get my oil heating up here. Two major condiments we need for this at the end is some garlic oil first up. Now, I've got some vegetable oil in here and I just want to get this garlic simmering. Now, the real secret here is to use a little bit of the garlic skin oh. with the garlic because it gets all crispy. This has got a nice sensible bubble going, gently persuading the oil and the garlic to become beautiful friends. Oh, sounds beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> now while that garlic's going, second condiment, chili vinegar. So simply white vinegar, some large red chilies. This isn't a spicy one, it's more about the vinegar. Okay, so I've taken this garlic out. It's still bubbling, so you want to take it out before it gets oh, too brown. Oh, there you go, because it keeps on cooking. I've just got one cup of jasmine long grain rice and I've just added five cups of water. I'm going to let that bubble away and I'm just going to come back and stir it every so often until I get a really thick porridge. I'm going to cook the onion really gently with a a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter. So it's literally just a, a little splash and a little bit of butter and you just let them sort of uh, mingle together and at this point we just pop the onion on and another trick to prevent the onion from burning as it hits the fat is to give it a gentle stir and season it with a pinch of salt because the salt will help release the natural water that is stored in the onion. I'm going to turn the heat down a tiny bit because all I want is really for the onion to uh, gently cook in the fat but I don't want it to colour in mm -hmm. any way. Okay. So the complete opposite of my brunette garlic. It is, it is the complete opposite <laughs> in this way. Look, I, I don't get me wrong, I do love caramelized onion, but yes. risotto is, is all about the mellow flavors. Now, speaking of risotto, we have some carnaroli here, mm -hmm. which is a type of um, Italian risotto. You can use arborio as well. There we go. So at this point, this is a really important moment in the creation of your risotto. You want to toast the rice grains, and by that, I mean to gently make sure that you're coating them in the fat and in the cooked onion and making sure that every single grain is coated and it will start looking translucent. So okay, at this point, all the grains of rice have absorbed the beautiful oil and butter and onion flavor. I am going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of dry white wine. Now, it will take about another maybe 20 or 30 seconds for the wine to completely evaporate. So this is the time when you really have to exercise a little bit of patience and give it a lot of TLC. Uh -huh. We're gonna add the stock and I'm gonna turn the heat down a tiny bit because I want this rice to cook very gently. So at this point, I'm just stirring very gently to make sure that all the rice is evenly submerged in the liquid and now I'm just gonna leave it alone and when the liquid has been absorbed I'm gonna add more stir it gently and repeat this process for the next 14-15 minutes so people think that rice takes about 30 minutes to cook but it only take, takes 30 minutes to cook if you want overcooked risotto <laughs> we like it al dente okay so um, I'm, I'm done for a few minutes and then I'll keep adding this and stir it and, and, and if there's anything crucial I'll let you know but you All should right. go, keep on going with your rice okay so for the the soup we're going to use water and then we're going to use some pork meatballs which will flavor it to make a really quick stock. The secret here is some garlic and some white peppercorns. So I just want to break down those peppercorns. You could just use white pepper powder as well. See already you can get that Mind smell. You, you, I would imagine that the texture of the peppercorns would help break down the garlic as well and turn it into a paste. Mm -hmm. So this is the this is what we're looking for and that goes into our oh, pork mix. It flavors the pork. Flavors the pork which then flavors the broth and just a little little bit of fish sauce, we mix that up. And that's your salt element, isn't it? And that's it? the salt element. So my rice is done and we've got that thick porridge consistency there. Now I just want to do my soup part. And this is great because you don't have to pre-make the stock, we're going to make the stock with pork balls. This is the way, you know, just pinch a few little bits of pork. Can I try? Pop it in, off you go. Just, is, that, is this a one hand job? It's a one hand, one hand, that's, that sounds very rude, so we <laughs> let's do that again. <laughs> Oh, maybe we yeah, go viral. One hand job. <laughs> one hand job. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, so we just want to keep, we just want to 
put all your little pieces of pork in there and then we're going to simmer this until the pork is cooked. By that time we'll have a flavorful broth and we'll be ready to continue on with the soup. Fantastic. Should we get back to your lovely risotto? We should get back to the risotto. I can see that the grains are still intact and have got a quite a bit of bite to them and they'll probably need another three minutes. I'm actually gonna have a little taste. Mm, mm, it's really the two more minutes. Let's have a look now. This is when, you see how the rice is really hungry mm. for more stock at the moment? And this is a sign that the rice is basically ready to go. So this is where the magic happens. Okay. So I've added quite a bit of stock. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm going to add some butter. See, this is, I, I would have kept that going for way longer. No, 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 no because it keeps cooking. And we're gonna grate some Parmesan cheese. This is when you stir it like oh, look you Look how creamy that just got. It like, is creamy in a, in a and it's second. quite wet. Now we are releasing all the beautiful starch ah. and this will create the creamiest texture. We're going to, this is where the magic happens. We're gonna put the saffron in there. Look how intriguing Ooh. and wonderful. This is like happiness in a pot. It's like a big pot of sunshine. It is. <laughs> We're gonna add the prawns and I don't wanna overcook my prawns. So Jeez, I'm just, prawns. they're just gonna be cooking with the residual heat of the pan. So I'm gonna pop the lid on and I'm gonna leave this undisturbed for two minutes. Okay. And then it will be Amazing. Okay, so while we're waiting for your risotto to have its little nap in the pan. A beauty, beauty sleep. It's beauty sleep. I am going to finish this off. So you can see that we've got, so this has actually made quite a nice little stock in here. We, I can see the flavor. It's colored the stock a little bit. Oh, it bit. smells really um, good too. I just want enough in here so that I sort of am after a similar kind of thing, like a creaminess. So I'm gonna let that just do its thing and gently sort of bubble away. Well, there you go. It needs its beauty sleep as well. It does, yes. So now I'm gonna go a bit fancy and do the shaking thing. Okay. There we go. Releasing all the creaminess. I can see that color, the combination of the yellow and the see. pink of the prawns. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. This is gonna smell really good. <laughs> I can really smell that beautiful aroma from the saffron. From the saffron, yes. And I can smell how buttery, it's weird, I can smell how buttery and creamy it is. Are we ready for this? We're so ready. Great, I'm gonna grab a shallow bowl. And look, one of the mistakes with risotto is to serve it into a deep bowl. And the reason why that doesn't work is that the rice keeps on cooking. Where this way, you get your beautiful creamy texture all laid out in one beautiful layer. And now look at this, but this is what we do. We shake it in the plate. Oh, I see. And so that it spreads, spreads out. out. And then you grab your beautiful, just cook through prawns. <gasps> there it is, grab a spoon, grab, uh, oh, grab a fork. In Milan, we eat it with a fork. <laughs> so I've got the right utensil, I can go, I can go. The seasoning is so beautiful. The butteriness, mm, the rice, delicious. You guys are so missing out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tear myself away from your risotto <laughs> <laughs> so that I can finish off my, my rice soup. Okay, so we have a look here, Sylvia. All that simmering away has made this into a really creamy, thick. I love how cloudy it is That's as well. Right. So with these eggs, I've actually just poured some boiling water on them and just let them sit for 10 minutes so they've started to set. Oh, that's really yeah, interesting. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna crack that into the bowl. You can see oh, it's yeah, just a little yeah, bit yeah. of white there. Yeah. It's more so that I can make sure the egg cooks with this hot soup oh, being okay. ladled over the top because you don't want runny egg whites. It really adds some extra creamy savouriness. I love it. And plus, you know, for me, it's that joy, the joy of cracking the yolk. Yeah, it's you good. Know, as you dip your spoon into. But also, it's wonderful using simple ingredients, everyday ingredients. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm trembling with anticipation. Come now, on, Marion. <laughs> And I know this looks like a really large bowl, but you, no, no. you always ended up oh, eating okay. the whole thing. Yeah, it's, no, don't worry okay, about okay, me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now, now we're, we're up to the condiment part. And as you said, so I've got some nice little shards of ginger here. So we want a little bit of the spring onion, a little bit of coriander. Okay, and so a little bit of that garlic oil. I can't wait to actually sample the, the crunch of the garlic skin. Yeah. I do love that. And then we want some of this chili vinegar. There you go. Now, the way to do this mm. is Find, More waiting. Discover the yolk in there. Oh. Give it a good shove. Mix it all around. Okay. 
Here we go. Just, I found it. You found it. Give it a <gasps> now. Swirl it oh. now. Now look at the color. So start swirling. And look oh at my the, gosh! This is like yeah. the saffron magic. It, it totally. This is, is sunshine like in a bowl. It's like the saffron magic. Oh, I do love the vinegar. Mm. You don't expect that. No. Oh, this is amazing. It's it's the best thing. Thank you. Mm. There you go, guys. Two amazing rice dishes. The beautiful risotto, Italian risotto, beautiful Thai breakfast rice soup. There you go. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>